Yo, what's up guys? So while I was recording this video, I thought that I had uh, Fraps turned on, which is what I used to, as a like FPS count for the video. However, for some reason, OBS didn't record Fraps, but it still recorded like the gameplay and my like voice overlay and everything. But it didn't record the the like FPS count while I was changing the settings in the video. So I went in game and recorded this and just to kind of show you how much FPS I'm actually getting in game. So here's a little clip for you guys to enjoy. So yeah, you can see in the top left hand corner of the screen, there's fraps with the in game FPS count. Okay, enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alex Bay, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get like 140 FPS in player knows battlegrounds. Now, I'm not gonna freaking show you how you can clean your desktop and how you can empty your fucking recycling bin. I'm gonna get straight into this and simply show you how you can get more FPS in game. So the first thing that I'm going to show you to do is, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can go and download this MSI gaming app. Now, it does support NVIDIA graphics cards. I have a NVIDIA GTX 1070 and pretty much what you can do is however this gaming app with the overclocked mode can overclock your graphics card to like 3900 megahertz which is just insane now this won't affect your graphics card in any way shape or form this will simply just make it run faster now if you have like a GTX 1070 this will still work for you if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, don't worry, I will show you some other ways that you can overclock maybe an AMD graphics card or how you can just simply get more FPS by changing some of your in-game settings and a few other things that I'm going to be showing you. So what you want to do when you come onto this website, you just want to download this app and where is the download? It's just down here. We're going to click on download. It's going to start downloading. So it's downloaded now and you just want to open it. You are going to need WinRAR to open this file. If you don't have WinRAR, I'll have a link for that down in the description. And you just want to click here and extract to your desktop. Okay, so that's extracted and it is here. And now you just want to open this folder and run the application. And just uh, agree to the terms and services and select where you want to install it you can install it wherever you like I'm just gonna install it there on my C drive and click on create a desktop icon and just install it okay and now you've finished installing it's going to install this and Dragonite you don't really need the Dragonite it's just the MSI gaming app you need and here you can see there's three different presets you can choose from silent mode if you want your graphics card to just be silent and there's gaming mode and overclocked mode now i'm going to show you here you can see the megahertz that your graphics card is running it's in gaming mode it's in uh, 1582 and in silent mode it pretty much i believe just turns off the fan but then if you go to overclocked mode okay so there's three different presets and the one you, that I advise you to just go with is to just leave it on the gaming mode since obviously we're gaming because you're a gamer bro so <laughs> now you've done this uh, you have your graphics card slightly overclocked you just want to exit it out of there and now we're going to go onto the Nvidia control panel and you pretty much just want to make sure that you have every single setting in this NVIDIA control panel exactly right. Now if you have even just one setting wrong, it will decrease your FPS considerably. So just, I'm going to walk through this. I have followed a specific tutorial from NVIDIA themselves on what you should have your settings on to have the most amount of FPS. Now, this isn't my FPS like guide. This is literally from Nvidia themselves. So, 
what you want to do here is on the first option adjust image settings with preview you just want to have this on this is default this is just leave this on uh, user advanced 3d image setting and it will be on quality and now you want to go over to the manage 3d settings and this is where most of the settings you want to change are so as you can see I'm just going to scroll through here and I'm going to let you pause the video and just make sure you copy these settings if you have a if you have two monitors connected to your PC there will be a setting around here that will say something along the lines of mul multiple monitor setup uh, if you're using two monitors have it on two if you're using just one monitor make sure it's just on one and just go and copy the rest of these settings and if you choose to restore them later on you can do so there's a button here to restore if you decide you don't like them but you might as well just try them out okay and now we're gonna go down to change resolution and here on the first tab one you can see here is your monitor and as you scroll down you can see that mine you can see that my monitor is connected with a display port which pretty much means that it supports 144 hertz at 2560 by 1440 which is just native for my monitor and here you can see my monitor is on 144 hertz and as you can see here here is just some nvidia uh, color settings if you want to copy them you can do so and now we're going to go down to adjust desktop color i just have this on just the default and obviously i my monitor is just landscape i'm just going through all these settings because i want to show you guys these settings because before i did these settings my i wasn't really getting as much fps as i am now and as soon as i changed these settings up i my fps really really dramatically increased so i really want to put this in the video and i want to show you and as we go down here you can see scaling you make sure it's on full screen don't have it on no scaling and aspect ratio have it on full screen okay and just make sure these settings are obviously your resolution may not be 2560 by 1440 yours may be just 1920 by 1080 if it is have it on 1920 by 1080 also if your refresh rate is 60 have it on 60 if your monitor supports 144 hertz then have it on 144 hertz or once you're done you'll be able to click on apply just make sure you click on apply and exit out and now what we're going to do we're going to go on steam right click on player unknown's battlegrounds go to properties Go to set launch options and copy and paste the launch options that I have in the description which will be here okay and just paste them in there and click on ok and once you've done that go to local files and verify integrity of your game now pretty much what this will do is say you have maybe some old files from an old update or some of your files in your directory need updating this will update them files for you so just go and verify the integrity of your game and after you've done that just start the game and we're gonna go and have a quick look at some of the in-game settings okay so as we come up to Plarina's Battlegrounds you can see in the top hand corner of the video I have a in-game FPS count which is my actual live FPS and what we're going to do now, we're going to go into our settings and as you can see here, I have my screen mode in full screen and resolution in 1920 by 1080 I mentioned earlier on in the video that I have a 2560 by 1440p monitor which is 144Hz However, I've downscaled my resolution to 1920 by 1080 since I believe this game supports 1920 by 1080 more than it does 2560 by 1440 and I'm going to prove that by putting my resolution on 2560 by 1440 as you saw before I changed my resolution I was on around 140 FPS now I'm on I believe around 95 ish 
So it does really decrease your FPS to be on a higher resolution. So I'm going to put my resolution back on 1920 by 1080 and you can see it's back to 144 FPS. Okay, and my uh, FOV for in-game is just on full, like the most it can be. And here we come down to our settings and I have screen scale on 100. Don't put this on 120. It doesn't do anything in-game apart from make a few objects, a few like textures a little bit sharper but it does really really decrease your FPS like a lot I've I've tested it, trust me now anti-aliasing now anti-aliasing and textures are really the only important options in your settings like post-processing, shadows, foliage, view distance they will just really kill your FPS we got a good thing going while we gotta feel simplified